talking about losers, talking about losers, have you guys seen this? This might be one of the most craziest bits of news I've seen in my entire life. Have you guys seen this? This is courtesy of um, No Jumper News, but I obviously found it on fucking the academic subreddit also, right? This is absolutely crazy. So this is courtesy of No Jumper, and it says here, Old Crime Stoppers report surfaces in Florida of police looking for underground rapper Little Boom for allegedly touching the backside of multiple people, including children. Hello? 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 Have you flipping heard of this? So if you don't, if you guys don't know, um, Little Boom is one of academics' right-hand men. He's part of the chat niggas. If you know that whole group of people, basically it's kids and guys that are into academics and they, you know, they tune into his stream and shit. He calls them chat niggas. And he's one of the, you know, the leading voices of the chat nigger crew. And somebody found this news. Somebody found this flipping article, whatever it may be, that allegedly he was involved in this sort of nonsense where he was going to stores, a department store somewhere, I guess, and basically sexually assaulting random people, including fucking children. Can you imagine this? Let's go to the next slide. It says, so this is an old post from 2021 when it happened, right? Um, and I guess whatever area this is, this is, what area is this? This is somewhere in where? In Ocala. I don't know where that place is. Where's Ocala? Ocala is in Florida, I'm assuming, right? So this place called Ocala, the police department put out this post on Facebook. Um, can you identify um, this person? We need to help identifying this person of interest. We have seen um, walking around the inside of a Walmart located on Easy Street. Jesus, the name of the, the the Walmart being on Easy Street and him doing what he did is a bit disgusting. Inside Walmart, he inappropriately touched the backside of multiple people, including children. He left in a red sedan, possibly a 2011 Chevrolet Impala. If you have any information about this individual, please call the officer um, Prater at the number attached. And if you look, scroll down, obviously in the next slide, you'll see a picture of the guy, Little Boom, walking in the shop with his toes out and his pajama pants, going into the store, deciding to randomly start touching up people and their bums and shit. Can you imagine? And then obviously in the comments, some of the mums and stuff are saying what the person allegedly did. Um, this is the same guy who followed me and my daughter around the whole store. Um, the person says here, to be honest, I don't know. We hurried and paid for what we had and we just left. He was acting absolutely weird. He had a buggy full of food and then left it down the aisle and then went to the other side of the store and was going down different aisles. So just acting sketchy. So one of, again, one of fucking academics' right-hand men has been accused of this. So it's been a pretty horrible week so far for academics. He had that really embarrassing thing where the, that girl called Shay, Che Glizzy, um, Shay Ann, however her name is, um, this on and off girlfriend that's been a bane in his life, really. She's super toxic, but for some reason, and Ak is madly in love with her also and he can't seem to let her go but she keeps exposing him and revealing crazy secrets about him and recently she was on live stream on the Instagram stories um, and he was in a very uncompromising position didn't look very flattering of him lying down on a chair somewhere not looking like a prize and then according to Ak according to Adam 22 and WAC 100 she allegedly sent WAC 100 a picture of Academics' dick and allegedly, according to Ak to Wack one hundred and D Adam twenty two, academics' dick is really small. It's almost like a micro penis. They were alleging, right? So I guess when they were beefing, when Cheyenne and academics were going through some bad times, she decided to send this thing to Wack one hundred. And obviously, Wack one hundred being the you know the consummate um snake and the consummate um troublemaker that he is, he kept a hold of that copy of that picture, and now he's basically you know taunting academics about it, and he hasn't responded yet or said anything about it. But I'm sure. Academics Academics must know by now that more than likely that picture, that dick pic that his girl or his on and off girlfriend sent to whack, was probably going to get out somewhere or the other. So be please brace yourself. Please brace yourself. You're probably going to see um, Academics' is wee wee um, somewhere on social media very, very soon. Most unlikely. D these guys are too chatty patty. They're way too gossipy. They're way too backstabby and snaky to keep it to themselves. Most likely you're going to see, um, you know, Academics' is tiny pee pee up close and personal. So that's the first thing about this little boom guy. Then there was an update regarding it also on here where 1090 Jake and little boom went back to back. Um, sorry, went um, back and forth regarding the whole affair. 1090 Jake responds to little boom allegations and in the tweet, in the caption here, in the next slide you'll see 
what what he said to him the caption's got what it says and then obviously in the replies little boom said this is cap nigga if this is true i'd be on the fucking registry and then tenani jake says you sure about that because i'm assuming tenani jake may have the flipping documents about him right and there's obviously some video proof here of the documents of what that kind of little boom guy did and then i think we're going to get some actual um information on what actually went down here if we kind of scroll up there might be some actual extra details if we can kind of spec it out bear with me a second it's there here we go so this is the paperwork so again the internet is horrible right because when this stuff happens um there's loads of paperwork fiends out there um the paperwork side of social media decides to just you know jump on it and say hey if this is true especially if it involves kids they're gonna flip and dig it out so little boom kind of you know goaded people into saying it wasn't true and now it's been proven that it mostly likely is true and there's a police report around it so this is a police report um that you can see here what's it say if we zoom in a little bit it says the arrest affidavit appearance form for Carla police um it's got his name on there right his actual government name it's got his date of birth florida he's got his high obviously everything there and it's got the accusation the the assault you know the accusation what do you call it the um accusation the assault whatever the thing is here the description it says battery um two counts fucking hell bro and his bond was two thousand dollars allegedly god damn god damn god damn god damn <laughs> And it's got some other details as well regarding his name and whatnot. So clearly something that he said wasn't a thing. I think he's assuming just because he didn't get put on it. That's a strange defense, isn't it? Imagine that's your defense against somebody accusing you of being a fucking, you know, uh, an abuser, a diddler, a fucking sexual assault or whatever it may be. Imagine your offense being, but, 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 but they didn't put me in a sex offender register. So it doesn't matter. They didn't put me in a sex offender register, so I, I didn't do it. It's like that's some odd defense. The fact that you have to, the fact that you have to say that says everything about your current predicament. To be completely honest, um. Then in the next slide here, we've got some more that's kind of describing a situation. Oh my god, this is describing a situation. Is this the actual police statement? Is that from a victim or something? Who signed this at the bottom? Oh my god. So before me and the signed authority person appeared who began dutifully swore alleges on the information on behalf on the ninth on the nineteenth of the ninth twenty twenty one uh, approximately 16 59 hours i responded to walmart located on the street upon the arrival i was contacted by this person who advised his daughters were inappropriately touched so the dad is the one that called the police the dad called the police the dad called the police and said his daughters have been inappropriately touched he's lucky he didn't get his face broken to be fair because if i'm in a walmart and my little fucking princesses my angels get touched by a guy that looks like that i'm going fucking crazy i'm going to, i'm the one going to prison do you know what i mean i'm the one spending the night in jail mate fuck that i'm not calling the police the police can get called for me fucking ripping this guy's face open like what i made contact with the daughters their names oh my god bro I made contact with the daughters Natasha Quivedo, 10 years old, and Brislin Molina, 70. Oh my God. Natasha Quivedo, 10 years old and 17 years old, who advised that they were in produce section with the rest of their family nearby. Natasha and Brislin advised the male that the male approached her and touched her butt with a grabbing motion. The male then continued to Brisline, where he then touched her butt with a grabbing motion and continued to walk away. This nigga's out here touching 10 year olds. Nah, academics has to disown him. Academics, you have to disown him. You have to disavow this man. You have to, you, ha you have to kick him out of the chat niggas. You have to fucking ban his account from your fucking server. You have to fucking kick him out. Oh my God. I then made contact with a witness, Robert Burton, who advised that he was shopping in the produce section. Robert advised that while shopping, he observed a male touching a young female, later identified as Brisleen in the butt. Robert explained that Brisleen looked up at the male and made eye contact with the male before the male finally walked away. The suspect was described as a tall black male, 20 to 30 years old, with Afro style hair, wearing a long sleeve blue shirt and pajama pants with Afro style hair. <laughs> oh my God. Academics, man. The company you keep. 
again, this isn't his fault. I understand that academics, the company you keep, these are the same guys that get on fucking fresh and fit. Imagine, keep this in mind. These are the same guys that get on fresh and fit and they start barking. They start barking at these random OnlyFans girls and start shouting at them and, de you know, and de fucking the you know whatever that fucking word is right taking the fucking piss out of them making them feel less than questioning their fucking you know questioning their viability of their fucking occupation all this sort of nonsense but this is what they're doing you got academics screaming at his one of his girls in that shopping mall that epic fucking or the casino that epic fucking clip of him screaming i'm the prize and one of his boys is doing this one of your fucking right hand men one of your codies one of your fucking gang 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 is out here touching fucking 10 year olds in walmart nah this guy's got to be fucking electrocuted he's got to be hung he's got to be lethal injected he's got to be buried under a jail then when his body fucking rots it's got to be dug up again and then thrown and scattered across the ocean honestly this is disgusting bro Contact was made with the loss prevention, um, Robert, whatever, who allowed me to view the video surveillance. At 14.39 hours, I observed red sedan, possibly a red Chevrolet Impala um, with the black rims entering the parking lot. And I then observed a, a BM, a black man matching the previous description, I guess, of the exit of the vehicle. I then observed the approximately 16.40 hours, the male of the produce section walking around. At this time, Bruce Lee and Natasha were standing at the produce display sex sectioning items. The male then approached Natasha from the rear, touched the butt area, which then, when Natasha, Natasha jumps away from the man, Natasha and Bruce Lee walk towards their mother. Sarah and the male proceeds to close to them. The male then turns around and walks towards Brisseline and proceeds to touch her butt area. The male walks away and walks through the grocery area and eventually goes back to the produce department. At approximately 16.49, I observe the male approach an unknown black female wearing a brown shirt and pants from and... Um, it appears the male attempts to touch the, the woman's butt, but the female does not react. The female then walks towards forward steps and the male touches her butt again, which then the female turns around and stares at the male. I sh it, I, it, no it should be noted that I had not been able to contact this victim. So he touched the... No <laughs> honestly man black guys are damn bad. He's not part... I'm not part of this contingent because these are American dudes, but this is really really dodgy man this is so bad man black boys are down really bad man we're down fucking a hundred and million points this guy's out here touching 10 year olds and random women in a fucking walmart fuck bro this is such a fucking l this is such a big l this is such an l yikes next slide um more police report here there's more more fucking com more conversation more bits and pieces of his fucking nonsense upon arrival i made contact with darian hester who was an uncooperative and refused to provide any information i made contact with paul uh, myers who is registered of owner of the chevy malibu and also advised that she is shannon adams mother I asked Paula about Shannon using her vehicle and she acknowledged that Shannon took it to Walmart. Paula acknowledged the fact that Shannon is also known as Little Boom. <laughs> I then searched, of course his name is Shannon, isn't it? Of course his name is fucking Shannon. Um, I then searched in-house and located a telephone number for him. I made contact via telephone with the subject and identified um, themselves as Shannon. When I asked Shannon about the incident, he advised he was just shopping around. <laughs> <laughs> and declined touching anyone shannon further advised that he was at walmart on sunday due to the fact that i was able to positively identify the suspect shannon admitted to being at walmart i believe there's probable cause for two counts of battery wow two counts of battery for that what an absolute psychopath so um obviously you know the proof is out there the evidence is out there it's hard to kind of argue against and I'm eager to see what academic says about it. What does academic say about his right hand man getting caught um, touching up children? Like, what does he say? What does he say about that? Because this is pretty disgusting. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty disgusting. But again, not surprising because it's been a whole bunch of L's for academics recently. Um, it's been nonstop L's, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse for him. Really, it really fucking is. So. Um, I guess maybe he has to fucking make it work and figure it out. I don't know. But if I was him, I would fucking kick him out of the fucking chat niggas group for sure. Lil Boom actually replied in the comments here. What do you he say here? Lil Boom says, this is so cap. Niggas, if this was true, I'd be on the fucking registry. I fell off already, bub. You should start. You should. You tried to cap on me in like 2018. 
oh, you can't be talking. That's a weird defense. I should be in a registry if I did what I did. Like, bro, like, you can inappropriately touch people and not not appear on a sex offender register. It doesn't mean because you're not on a sex offender register that you're not a sex offender. You know, like, I'm sure the sex offender registry is like a different type of thing. And the reasons why people get on it are kind of complex and varied. But I don't think just because you're not on it, it doesn't mean you not you didn't do it. That is a weird defense. But yeah, Academics' crew is really, really sus. And again, like I said previously, like, I would wish that we would get to a place. I really do wish we'd get to a place where it became cool to know how to treat women well. Like, not even like crazy having to do the whole roses and, you know whatever nonsense you know super romantic thing you want to do with you know horse and carriage and flying people somewhere whatever it may be but just the you know just bring back into some level of popularity just treating women like human beings and being kind of nice and you know being i don't know you know having chivalry or some respect right um having some level of manners being decent opening doors um you know letting them sit down first before you just kind of just being a good dude even if it just means you just want to beat, it doesn't mean because you want to beat that you have to kind of be a fucking piece of shit. Even if you want to just beat, just being a good dude about it, like making the experience nice and kind of, um, you know, mutually beneficial, not make another person feel like a fucking whore or something and just going above and beyond to make sure the person has just as much of a good time as you do, because this is what's, you know, because the opposite is all this shit. The opposite is this guy pulling up to a Walmart in his pajamas and open toe sandals, touching ten year olds and shit. Like, really odd. It really fucking is odd. I really do wish that there was more, more flipping, um, you know, credence and more importance put towards just being a good dude. It's all well and good, you know, running around beating randoms and stuff and thinking you're a bad boy. But honestly, why, why can't we bring back, you know, guys just being nice? Like, but yeah, what can you do? what can you flip and do um you know fucking hell horrendous like i said he should be thrown in the ocean he should be fucking hung from somewhere electrocuted all of that stuff and everything else in between i don't stand for that i don't like it that stuff is fucking gross nasty disgusting over it